And what are we doing today? We're doing a cross space encapsulation radon removal system. Hi, my name is Scott. I'm a radon mitigator in Virginia. I shoot videos uh, for radon mitigators. Those looking to get in the business. If you're home, you can stay and hang out. Check out www.nrsb.org. That's the National Radon Safety Board. If you're looking for a radon mitigator, go to that site, plug in your zip code. That'll bring up a list of certified radon professionals in your area. Today is a yucky day, but we're bringing our own sunshine and we're trying to stay dry and warm. And uh, we're putting a system on a, you know, a house that's kind of earth tone. So we're going to use brown pipe, gray fan, and we even painted that pipe brown for the uh, sellers, future homeowners, just because we're swell guys. So let me show you how we do uh, cross face encapsulations at this point in my career. Um, so this fan is run into this basement so come with me and you'll see a world of pure imagination okay so we'll start here there's a pipe from outside and we're going to bring it in and transition uh it's not really readily available for you but i'll show you we're going to connect it to all this uh black corrugated pipe all right, and then we're, we're covering it with new uh, six mil black plastic, uh, adhering it to the posts and the walls. And so we're pulling, and by the way, this corrugated pipe, it's got these slits in it, you see? That'll help us move air and release water as radon systems uh, have a way of generating uh, condensation. So uh, we got that going for us. And also, this crawl space, well, we've got an extra crawl space, so we're going to tee off of that and run up in here. So this won't be too bad. Uh, got to eat right and exercise to get in these little holes. <laughs> but uh, once we're in there, it won't be too bad because there's not a bunch of posts and stuff like that. So uh, anyway, okay, so we got the four inch pipe coming in. And this right here is where we transition to the corrugated. And then we will cover it up with the new plastic. And so right here, I'll probably uh, wrap it with a little excess uh, plastic and tape so we don't lose suction right here before we get under the plastic. But uh, we're happy with how it's coming along here. All right, would you like to see how we came out? We've got the fan and we've just touched it up with a little, little spray paint there. By the way, that pipe, you know, we have to spray paint it. We can't just uh, buy it brown already. And uh, here's my little trick for the manometer. Uh, if you haven't seen my other videos, um, what we do is put the light. If you, if you have to have the manometer outside, it's destined to get water in it. So this is a little trick that I've got that keeps uh, water out of the manometer. Uh, it's, it's designed, it's, it's a masonry nail. It's designed for uh, to hold coax cables in place. So I uh, hope that's of help to you. So let's, let's go on inside here and, and see how we did. Ta-da! Uh, I like to make things absolutely dummy proof uh, to show that there is, you know, this uh, could prevent somebody from tripping, so. Um, big believer in dummy proof. Nothing wrong with stating the obvious, <laughs> especially if it keeps somebody from knocking themselves out. So here we are. Um, came out pretty well. And you know, are there better ways of doing this? Well, absolutely. So um, what I've shown you here is the bare minimum way to do it. And you know, if you watch my videos, I always talk about putting your best foot forward and stuff like that. So why would I want to do the bare minimum on a crawl space? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Um, sometimes in the radon business, your customer is actually not happy to see you. Why? Well, we are here to fulfill the requirements so they can sell their home to a buyer. So it's a seller's expense. So am I going to dazzle Bob with the crawl space encapsulation plan and say, Bob, man, we're gonna put the finest underlayment under your home and we're gonna use the strongest adhesive and technology and blah, 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 blah. And it's all you're gonna cost you what a vacation or a small car might. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna lose that job. 
Why? Because somebody's gonna come in and do what needs to be done to get Bob to the finish line. See, uh, Bob's gotta write me a smaller check so he can get to his closing and get a bigger check. Um, so that's why on this particular situation, it needs to be cost effective. Now, is there another situation where Bob would, Bob number two would call me up and say, Scott, I hear you're the best. No, shucks. No, no, seriously, I hear you're the best. I want the finest radon removal encapsulation system you can provide. Money's no object for putty in your hands. Well, for Bob number two, what I would do is I would call my buddy, Brad, who runs a pest control operation. I'd say, Brad, we're gonna coordinate. Come on over here and encapsulate Bob's crawl space. And it's gonna be far more awesome than this. They're gonna use a better quality material. It's gonna be white. The freaking thing's gonna glow in the dark. If you turn on a single light bulb, you're gonna need sunglasses under here. And you know, this, that Bob number two, that's his forever house, you see? And he wants to invest in it. And by golly, when that's done, that is gonna increase the value of his home. The objective is the same. We're getting radon out of the house, but for two different reasons. But what we're doing is providing adequate value to get this customer to the finish line. But if you really want to go down the rabbit hole of crawl space encapsulation, I mean, it's there. I mean, the, the fellow that comes to mind that I can think of, uh, Crawl Space Ninja, uh, super cool dude I've seen on YouTube. Uh, check him out, and that's that's his thing. That's what he does. Uh, my objective is get right radon out of the house. And what we've done is we've taken the adequate steps to do it. Uh, you can use tack strips and you know all sorts of stuff. You can go nuts, but this is going to get this customer to the finish line. He's happy with us. Buyers are going to walk in and say, "Cool, you know, good job." It doesn't look bad at all. Ooh, we interrupt this program to go into the future. Yeah, it's about a week ahead, and I'm on another job, and I haven't. I on this end on your computer screen, I haven't edited this video yet, and I've been thinking about that. This video that you are, are watching. Boy, time is funky. Back to the future. And so, uh, you know, here we're in another crawl space. So let me just show you a couple of things that I was thinking about. You know, it's the same deal. We got six mil black plastic. We're adhering it with uh, Gorilla Tape and uh, White Lightning. Um, you know, just a good solid silicone, or, or excuse me, a caulk there. And um, yeah, so I was just thinking about Bob number one and Bob number two. So, you know, gosh, so if you call my buddy Brad and he, you know, comes to do your crawl space, well, he's at $2 a square foot, so that math is pretty easy. You know, the crawl space that we were in, you know, that's 2,000 square feet. So, bam, four grand right out the gate before I, I even do my thing. So, uh, you know, that might not scare away Bob number two, Bob number one. I've lost a couple Bob number ones uh, trying to run that one. And so that's what brought me back to doing it myself. So the moral of the story is always keep in mind what the market will bear and what your customer's objectives are. All right, let's get back to that other job. Hey, I hope you picked up something from this video. You did. Don't you smash that like button and consider subscribing. I drop a lot of content on the Radon community. <laughs> it does not cost you a dime. It means the world to me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.